In this video, we will be replacing the fuel pump on a Toyota Corolla. There's a few things that we'll need. A fuel filter, a gas tank seal, a fuel pressure regulator, a pickup screen. If you're going through all the work to replace the fuel pump, then you might as well replace other items that you can do at the same time. The first step is to remove the rear seat. You simply pull up and you hear a pop and the seat comes out. Pry the panel off. Unplug the fuel pump. Remove the screw on the gas tank access port. Place a few rags around the opening. Remove the fuel line. Remove the fuel pump unit from the gas tank. I suggest using a fan to blow away the fumes from the gasoline. The first step is to remove the little plastic cap on the fuel pump assembly. Remove the fuel filter screen. Using a pair of pliers, remove the fuel pressure regulator. Remove the plastic housing on the fuel pump assembly. Remove the fuel pump by wiggling it left and right. Unplug the fuel pump. Remove the old fuel filter. Grab the new fuel pump and place the plastic fitting on top, followed by an O-ring and a white plastic grommet. Grab the new fuel filter, place the small white plastic piece inside, followed by the O-ring. And reuse the rubber from the old fuel filter. Plug in the new fuel pump. Insert the new fuel pump into the new fuel filter. And reinstall the assembly. Remove the old fuel tank gasket and replace it with the new one. Reinstall the main housing, making sure not to damage the fuel level sending unit. Install the new fuel pressure regulator. Install the new fuel pump pickup screen. and then install the small washer. Reinstall the rubber cap, and then reinstall the plastic top. Inspect the unit for any damage, Make sure to look for anything that might be reassembled incorrectly. And go ahead and lower the fuel pump assembly back into the gas tank. Reinstall the fuel line and the clip.
and then tighten down the bolts. I drove around for a little while without the cap inserted just to make sure there were no leaks. Reinstall the grommet and plug in the fuel pump. Reinstall the seat by lining up the two clips and then pushing down. The short and long term fuel trims were a little bit too high, but thankfully this new fuel pump seems to have fixed the issue.